Hi there ladies, Manisha here, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm sharing with you a Beauty Big Bang review. So I've been sent some items to review and share with you. So Beauty Big Bang is an online store, you'll be able to find them at um, www.beautybigbang.com. They sell lots and lots of makeup items as well as a huge range of nail art products. So today I'm going to be sharing with you um, some of their new uh, Galaxy Foils. So I've got five um, colours, there's actually eight in the range currently and I've also got their foil glue. So I'll list the item numbers and direct links for you down in the description box below. I've got a 10% off discount code which is M-A-N-I so be sure to use that too um, if you're wanting to check out um, these and other products from um, Beauty Big Bang. So I will fast forward the next part but I'll do a bit of a voice so far so you know exactly what I'm doing and I'll meet you back at the end. So I'm just going to buff the nail lightly because I am just using nail tips today but you don't necessarily have to do that on your own nails. And then this is the glue here so it's a 10 milliliter in size and it's just um, like a whitey sort of bluey color when it goes on and when it's dry like when it's fully ready to be used it will go a clear color. Um, it might take up to about three to four minutes just for that to happen but um, yeah just sort of wait till it goes completely transparent then you know it's ready to go now um, this is the first one here now this is absolutely stunning um, they do come all folded up and, and one of the things I didn't like actually about them were that they were folded up and it sort of felt like the foil had stuck to itself in some places but this just goes to show you the, um, the beautiful colors that are on um, set number one so what I'm going to do is just cut a piece off and then use that for the design. So um, you do only need like a little bit at a time. Um, you can use different parts of the same foil to get a different look on each nail. So what I'm going to do is um, just place it on the nail where I sort of, the, the part of the um, foil I want to transfer. And um, you could see that the, the foil um, glue had actually gone quite clear. So you could see the black um, base quite nice and clearly. And then I'm just going to use a cotton round there to rub it onto the nail. Now it will take a little while for it to transfer. And you know when it's going to be ready to go when you can kind of see the edges starting to lift. And um, you can just give it a little bit of a tug if it doesn't feel like it's ready to come off. Um, just rub it a little bit more and then it should come off nice and cleanly in one piece. And sometimes where the part of the nail is that's curved, um, it's not always going to transfer um, very cleanly. And you will see what I do to fix that up later on. I'll show you um, a little trick that you can do. So there's the, um, you know, the foil that I've used up and there's the design that's transferred onto the nail. So it's sort of, um, they do recommend to do a black base, but you can do a color that's um, similar to the foil if you want to. I really like this one here. It's um, so pretty and there's so many different areas that you can use um, on the, um, the patterns and things like that. Now these foils are four centimeters by 50 centimeters each pieces. So they're quite a generous size. Now you can see that at the top there it hasn't transferred again. So I'm just gonna pick that piece up and just kind of use my nail this time to rub over the area and you can see that that's actually helped it better so you can go over it the parts where the glue is still exposed it will um, still take on the um, the foil so this is color number three this really looks like a galaxy and I've just cut um, part of the end and I'm just using that. So there are some brighter patches on this foil as well. I just used the bit that was at the start of it. So it's kind of come out quite muted. Um, and some of it didn't transfer. I don't know what happened there. I think it might have been user error. I'm not sure. But um, anyway, on with the swatches. So this is colour number four. Got lots of pinks and purples and blues on this one. I'm just going to transfer that onto the nail. I have obviously cut parts of the video out because I don't want it to be super long but you sort of get an idea of what I'm doing. If you don't understand any of it just leave me a little note in the comment section and I'll be more than happy to answer any questions that you might have. And last but not least here's colour number five. This one's definitely a marble effect. It sort of looks like a stone bench. Um, and after I got it on the nail, it actually looked a bit like snake skin. So yeah, I was quite pleased with this one. It's very different from the others. There's a little bit of a close-up of it. 
and then let's get it onto the nail and see how this one looks. They're so easy, foils are just so much fun, um, you know, really easy to get onto the nail. There we go, that's the nail done there. I have got some patches, but I will fix that up. Now this is how I um, fix up any areas um, that haven't transferred. What I thought was I'd just sort of do a bit of a half moon um, painted out black because the tip itself was black to start with and that kind of just tidies it up but I mean this is purely optional you don't have to do this but I just wanted to um, to keep it all nice and tidy and then I'm just going ahead and popping on a gel um, top coat and I'm going to cure that in the lamp for 30 seconds okay so I'm back with the um, final results and I really like them with the glossy top coat I think it just really brings out the the shine and the colors just look more defined now the last one um, I'm sorry I, I did that one off camera and I wasn't even thinking about when I was um, playing around but what I did with that one was um, it's a mixture of all the different colors so you know how I had these little bits left um, I actually just use, see there's all the edge bits there that weren't used and um, I don't know about you guys, I'm always a bit thrifty with things like this. Um, I thought why put it, why just throw that away when you can actually do like a sort of marbled effect with it and so that's how I came about that one. So that's just using a mixture of all of those there um, onto the nail and just using you know the little ends and stuff like that. Um, I try to get as much as I can out of each piece so I just don't believe in wasting it even though it's it's a pretty cheap item. I mean you can um, if I'd done this properly would have got two nails done out of that that piece there but you know and I'm just giving you tips and stuff like that. But anyway these are all top coated and um, let me know if you've got a favourite amongst them um i know i definitely have got a couple that stand out to me and they're probably not the ones that you guys are thinking of because i know pinks and purples are always popular but i'm actually drawn to this one here i think this one just looks um so pretty it almost to me looks a bit like snake skin um yeah it's got a real sort of marbly effect i really like the um turquoisey one too obviously it's my, one of my favorite colors with the blue on it but i think that one turned out really pretty too and it's a great way to um use up little bits or just to sort of do that effect because it is hard it is tricky i admit to get a full nail transfer um but i think you know that's always another way to use these sorts of foils too so let me know what your thoughts are down in the description box i'm um, sorry in the comment section down below do you have a favorite amongst these are you have you got any of these are you thinking of checking them out um i really do like them i think they're very generous um with the, uh, the size, you know, for how many nails you're going to get done, how many different manis you're going to get done. Um, I mean, they're great as accent nails, or you could just go and do all five of your nails if you wanted to. So um, they are really um, cool, lots of fun. Um, I would probably, for longevity, I'd probably do two coats of top coat if you're going to be wearing these on your nails for a few days. Um, only just to kind of lock it all in and um, give you a little bit more longevity because um, with foils you do end up getting a little bit of um, tip wear and so yeah just to kind of get a little bit more longevity out of it I'd probably do at least two top two coats of top coat obviously curing in between and apart from that anyway thank you um, Beauty Big Bang for sending these out I really enjoyed using them and um, they are lots of fun and I'm sure uh, my viewers are going to be having lots of fun with them too so apart from that ladies thanks for stopping by hit that um, subscription um, link if you haven't done so already and apart from that have a great day wherever you are bye for now